Wondering what you're feeling about the Nationals, who right now are a wild card team. Yep. If the wild, if they it, 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 they would play the Phillies in the wild card game, how great would that be? Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> to see Max theater. against Bryce Harper, that'd be fantastic. But that's where they stand right now. I want to hear your thoughts and maybe your midseason grade. Eight hundred six three six one zero six seven. As we open up the Hadid carpet cleaning Lister lines, I think it'd be hard to give them an A because they're not atop the division. They've been playing A baseball for the last month. I thought Davey Martinez was dead man walking. When we were talking about the Mets series, I figured he had a couple of weeks. Right. But they turned it around, and they're playing fantastic. I'd probably give him a B- minus right now. I think a B- minus because is a I solid can't, grade. Because <clears throat> I can't disregard the first 50 games. Now, there were a lot of reasons for that because of the injuries and so on and so forth. But um, over the last 30 games, they've been an A+. Plus. But as a season, I'll give him a B-, minus, and I'm shocked to see. Give him a little bit higher. Give him a B. <clears throat> yeah, all right, that's fair. The problem with the team, if you want to chime in, 800-636-1067 is still don't trust the bullpen. So as good as they are playing right now, and said it a few times already on the show today, they're 15-4 and four in their last 19 games. Right. And if you want to take it deeper, they're playing the best baseball since, what is it, May 24th. May 24th, right. Um, is Scherzer's fantastic. Strasburg's been good. Corbin's been great. As you said, Sanchez has been pitching better. It's just that bullpen. You just can't trust it. And, it, yes, Cakes mentioned Fernando Rodney has been, you know, a great find. But do you really trust him? If it comes down to a wild card game, and let's say Scherzer goes seven strong innings, throws 115 pitches, and it's a 1-1 game. Mm-hmm. Do you trust him to do win the trust game? trust the Nats bullpen to hold it down for them to win a game. And that, I think, is... That's why... I, I, I would give them a B, though, because you're... The defense... has been much better. Mm-hmm. They're generating enough offense, I think. Offense has been solid. I thought they'd miss Bryce Harper more. Um, Robles having a pretty good year. Yeah, he's in 250. He's getting on base. Don't forget, Rizzo, 13th or 14th home run yesterday. Rizzo will probably be a buyer at the deadline. The deadline's July 31st. Yeah, I mean, I think if he feels like he it. needs a piece in the bullpen, he'll make a move to upgrade it. If so he what is the like Cakes Rodney, grade? I, I agree with Jason. I think a B minus. B minus. Yeah, because I can't. I can't. I'm for, giving the best grade. I can't forget the beginning of the season. How bad JP, it they was. were. 19 like, and 31. How terrible it was. I understand that, but right now, at five right. games above uh, uh, five games above 500 and a wild card team. I would give them a B overall. But before the season started, I thought that they would have the lead at the at the break. I didn't okay. think they'd be trailing by six. That's well, why be I give them a B. Right, but they're not leading the division. They're trailing I didn't by give six. Them an a. I give them a B, slightly above a B minus. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're quivering about, but you know what? It's it is what it is. They're playing much better baseball, like you said, clean baseball. Defense is better. Still a big question mark in the bullpen. Um, but, Zim had three doubles the other day. I know Zim. He's you know what? And they need him to hit the ball. Yeah. They need that. Well, the that. problem they need with that playing bat. Zim yeah. is, and I, you know, it's great when he responds like this and he's the best defensive first baseman, is Matt Adams and Howie Kendrick have been playing so good. So yeah, it's, like, I mean, you, do, do you it's have, like you're taking those bats out of the lineup. Yeah, they're doing their best. I mean, Kendrick played a little bit. He, what, he pinch it yesterday and then played a little bit at first. But hey, you know, that's a good luxury to have when you can throw one of those three guys in there and each bat is pretty potent. But Trey Turner's having a really good year now. Soto's hitting 300. You know, we've already talked about Rendon 100 times. Mm -hmm. He's having a great year. I mean, they're just top to bottom. They're just really strong right now. Let's see if the momentum carries out of the All-Star break because it's very soft heading into the All-Star break. Some of the teams they're facing, the Royals, the Marlins, teams of that ilk. Coming out, they're at Philly, at Baltimore after that. At Atlanta for four games. So that nine games is going to be pretty trying coming out of the break. Right, and then they play the Dodgers and the Rockies. Dodgers and Rockies come here, yep. and then Atlanta closes out the month here yeah, it gets at t- it, gets, it gets tougher. We, we, look, we at the end of the July, they get the Marlins, what, six times? Mm-hmm. You get the Tigers, you get the Royals. They really got to do some damage against that schedule, soft schedule. And they did. And Give I think, them credit I think for they it. went 10-2 and two against those teams. Right. We talked about it last week, though. I don't remember... The combination of guys who were here. Cakes was off last week. You missed a day. Um, it's just how it is in the summer. We get vacation days. We use them. 
and it's rotating shows. I have them in the playoffs. Actually, I do think Cakes was here. You no. said you didn't think they were going to be a playoff I team. I used my jinxy powers against the Nats. Said, oh, it was your nope. reverse psychology? No, no, no. I, I honestly didn't think they'd be able to well, right now, sustain it. Do you believe that they will make the playoffs? Will we be talking about the Nationals in some form of a playoff game, whether it's a wild card game or a series come October? I'll, Reluctantly, I, I'm going to say yes. I'm pivoting. <laughs> I'm waffling. I hope we are. My prediction means nothing, but I hope we are. But what are you? What do you think? I don't know. Right now, I mean, I don't know. I mean, are they going to continue to play this type of baseball? And I would say, yeah. If they are, then the, yeah, they're going. They might even win the division. But the schedule is going to get tougher. Who knows about injuries? Other teams are going to add pieces. But right now, there's no besides maybe the Dodgers. Although the Dodgers got swept, but there's no one better right now in the National League. Right now, they've been the hottest team in the league in the last month. But let's see how they play against the Braves and the Phillies. They play the Braves seven times in the next what, right. thirteen games. Yep. If you want to chime in, eight hundred six three six one zero six seven. You can give us your grade. We're B's and B minuses. And then, what are your thoughts about this team heading towards the postseason? As Cake said. You figure Rizzo's going to be a buyer because he knows Fernando Rodney. He'd love Fernando Rodney to be the Fernando Rodney of whatever, 10 years ago. He's 42. Yeah. Is he really going to be reliable? He's 42. Wasn't he touching like 90? Oh, no. He throws gas. I mean, he just throws fire. How does a 42 year old man throw nearly 100 miles he, per he's hour? He's blessed. Yeah. Well, that's just, that's God just, just gave crazy. him something right yeah, here. God just, God just <laughs> touched him. So you're, you're hooked. You have a flamethrower instead of instead of an yes. arm. Somehow. But a month ago, we thought we're not even going to be talking about this team. Right. In July or August. We thought Certainly they, not in the playoffs. We thought they would be a ratings disaster to talk about them. But now, now they've responded. And they're in the thick of it. Yeah, and they're I in get, the race. And I'm going to believe the attendance is going to grow now and as you know we what? go and through these months of July Rizzo and August. Because Rizzo just kept telling us, you know, wait till we're at full strength. We're going to start playing better. And no one really believed it. I wonder how close, though, he was and, and how close the organization was, was to maybe making a move with Davey Martinez or becoming a seller. Because you know it had to have tested their patience. Oh, absolutely. He exercised yep. major patience. That's a good question. I don't know how close they were, but um, you don't have to talk about that now because they're, they look like they're going to be in the mix the rest of the year. But the numbers that the starting rotation's putting up is just crazy, especially Max. No one's talking about Strasburg. Strasburg's having a damn good year. Damn good year. And, and he's managed, knock on wood, he's managed to stay healthy. That is true. He hasn't had that, you know, that DL stint that keeps him out for two or three weeks or longer at this point. And hopefully that remains the case. I mean, Strasburg's tied for the lead and wins the National League. <laughs> 